On Microsoft Windows, if you are in the File Manager and hit right-click, you will get this right-click menu in which there is this new option, and under that you will be able to create all these different types of documents, depending on what kind of software is installed on your Windows PC. But in Linux, in my File Manager, if I right-click here, I have the Create New Folder icon, so Nemo is my file manager, and there is the Create New Document sub-menu, but in this there is only one thing called Empty Document, and it tells me that there are no templates installed. If I create an empty document, this one is going to be just a simple text document, so you can do whatever you want with it, but it's not really what we are looking for. And this happens even though I have LibreOffice installed here, and as you can see, LibreOffice has a lot of templates. So how can we do the same thing that we have in Windows? So in your home directory, you might observe that there is this templates folder here, and it might not be there, so it will depend on whether you have the XDG directory support enabled, and if you don't, and if you are on Arch Linux, you will be able to find the how to do that in the XDG user directories uh, article in the Arch Wiki. So you have to install the xdg-user-dirs uh, package, which will give you this xdg user dirs update command that will uh, create all your directories for you, and there is kind of uh, this templates directory, the xdg templates there, which is going to contain your templates. And so if I want any of these templates to appear there as an option, maybe I want this kind of uh, a presentation template to appear. So let's just open this presentation. Uh, we don't care about this. So this is an empty presentation as the way LibreOffice presents it to us. And so I can just uh, do save as and go to my home directory, go to the templates folder and uh, maybe name this as a new presentation. And if we uh, save it as new presentation, so now if I go back to my file manager, it is the new presentation.odp is placed in the templates folder. So now if I go, let's say, go to my documents and I say create new document, it will let me create new presentation. Let me uh, give this a name. So let's give it, I don't know, Arch Linux is good. And then if I open this uh, file, then you can see that it will have uh, the template that I created will be there. And this can be done with a lot of different things. So you don't, you are not restricted to documents. So for example, let's create here an empty document and let's name it uh, new bash script.sh and let's uh, open it with NeoWim and uh, let's put the shebang here, for example, so there will be hash. Uh, let's, uh, let me increase the size here, so you can see, so shebang slash, uh, what is it, bin bash, I guess, the shebang for a bash file. And let's uh, save and quit. And what else we can do here, let's open this uh, directory in a terminal here. And uh, we, what we can do is we can give this uh, new bash script the executable parameter. So let's see, chmod u plus x and the new bash script.sh. So let's uh, do it again. So now it is executable. So let me close this, and now if I, oh, sorry, I should put this not in documents. This should be in templates. So let's put it in templates. So now if I right-click here, there is the new bash script. I can name it whatever I want. Script.sh, so let's uh, open it with uh, NeoWim, and uh, let's add something here, maybe echo. Hello world. 
and let's uh, close it. And now if I come to the terminal here and uh, say, let's say script.sh, it will execute. So because I gave the template the executable um, permission, now this permission has been granted to my new file here. So if I do an ls l here, you can see that my script.sh has the exact same permissions that I gave to the template there. And so you can go wild with it. So if you uh, are programming in Python a lot, you can create even more complex uh, templates for yourself. For example, create a Python template in which you have all your imports. For example, you can create the the main function and the entry point to the Python script. So everything that you would put in your Python script, for example, you can put it in a template script. And then wherever you are in your file manager, you will have that template available in your right click menu. All right. So this was today's video. It's a little short tutorial, but I thought it would be nice to know this because if you are using um, an, an operating system like Arch Linux or any kind of Linux distribution that is uh, not really pre-configured for you, now you know how you can create these templates for yourself and make your usage of your computer more convenient. So uh, thank you very much for uh, watching this. And if you like this, give this video a like, subscribe for more content, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.